this is Aaron with Kixie, and we're going to be looking at the Kixie Power Call Dialer. To start, let's look at the user interface and settings. At the bottom left, you'll find the directory, which includes all of the agents on your account. At the top, you can filter by status, name and number, and the team. Clicking the arrow will initiate a transfer to the agent, the colored disk shows their current status, and clicking their extension will initiate a call to the agent. Here you'll find your call history. You can filter by name, number, uh, the type of call it was, and you can also see the time and date, the call length, and the call recordings, as well as a link to the CRM. The next tab over is your voicemail, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's your inbound voicemail box. The dial pad will take you to the main dialing screen. This is similar to how it was before, but it's important to note that the Do Not Disturb icon has now moved and is here at the bottom left-hand corner. When I Do Not Disturb, you'll see the top banner start flashing red. The next tab is the SMS history, which shows all of your recent SMS conversations along with filters, uh, call, SMS links, as well as a CRM link. Do so you look at the thread, just give it a click, and you'll see your conversation with that client. At the bottom, you can respond to the thread and also choose an SMS template. Another way of sending an SMS message is going to the dial pad, entering a number, and clicking send SMS. You'll see it's pulling the message that I had typed previously, but I can type in whatever I wanted to say right here. Lastly, on the far right is the power dialer icon, which will show you in another video.